All right, forgive me for reading from my script because I don't necessarily like to do that, but this man's credits are so incredible. I don't want to mess anything up. So as a keyboard player, Vince Malamud has toured or recorded with the Eagles, Bob Dylan, David Bowie, Dan Fogelberg, Jimmy Buffett, Rita Coolidge, and Roseanne Cash. Al Jolson, Additionally, Al Jolson. Uh -oh, still <laughs> Additionally, his songs have been recorded by Tina Turner, Randy Travis, the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, and John Anderson. Vince, how the hell are you? I'm fine. Busy guy. Yeah, well, it's uh, this is a busy camp. Yes, it is. Yeah. Now, you're a first-time counselor at the camp here, but you don't seem like it, because I just walked in on one of the counselors, <laughs> and you seem like you've been working with these people for, for years oh. as a teacher. And I'm just curious, do you want to connect kind of that, that beginner enthusiasm with yeah. yourself? Even yeah, yeah, I mean, that, you know, I know it's called fantasy camp, and, you know, so it, it's it's a great thing, I mean, just for them to be on a stage in size. Yeah. And the fact that, you know, and, and they didn't get nervous, because Roger Dolce's walking from room to room, and I, know, I said, now look, you guys, and uh, they're, but they're great, you know, they, they, they learn to listen. The first thing I said, okay, everyone will jam initially because the first thing we ever did was just jam and get it all out, get it out of your system and the whole thing. And I said, okay, now we have to orchestrate the song. Because, you know, we, we the camp counselors, uh, already had a rehearsal with Roger and we've, we've been put in our place. <laughs> How is that for you? Because a lot of the counselors are saying the same thing, that you almost were, like, sweating nervous. To well, we are because it's, a, you know, it's a legend for us. I mean, you know, I mean, I, I, I shouldn't say this, but I saw The Who at the Monterey Pop Festival. I mean, I was a big Brit, you know, British band fan, you know, and so to sit there and say, oh, cool. and I haven't said that to him. Like, I saw you at Monterey and I saw you at Woodstock, you know, but <laughs> I don't know what to say to him, you know, so it's, um, yeah. It's, it's quite a trip. You know. Yeah, definitely. Now, you, you've you been playing professionally, I thought 17, but talking with you before we did this interview, you told me 14 you've been playing professionally? 14 years? 14 years old since you were 14? Oh, um, yeah, but I had a record deal when I was 17. I, I grew up in, Cal okay, in so Southern California. Okay. Played the clubs on the strip and played in San Diego a lot. Um, and we had one quote hit. Uh, we went to like number 101 on Billboard charts. But we got to tour. We were 17 and, you know, got, yeah, got a two day pass out of high school and learned real fast to get back in school. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh yeah, we learned about the music business real fast. Would you say that, judging from what you've seen so far with the campers, that they're they have the same desire and excitement that, that you had at that age as well? No, I think that it, the campers in general are more people that that they they might have started out as musicians, but they went on to you know everyone can't be a musician, and and, right. and for some things it's like my parents used to say to me. If I didn't get a record deal before I was out of high school, they were saying to me, so uh, what are you going to do when you get out of high school? You know that this is... Did you have a Jewish mother or something? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. And, uh, I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you're not going to be doing this, you know, your whole life. Exactly. Kind of thing. So I said, yeah, well, I'll figure out something to fall back on. Thank God, I got a record deal when I was 17. <laughs> and then they said, and I remember coming... Uh, so I had to miss one day of school and say, well, Dad, you know, if I'm in school, going to get in the way of it. And he said, well, well, if you're going to be a big shot, then you'll just get a tutor. Exactly. But we didn't, we didn't even get that far. We did, you know, uh, we learned real quickly about the music business. Yeah, sometimes it can be not so nice. Mm, no, There's a yeah. lot of good and a lot of bad. And, yeah. and, you know. and we have to realize as kids, too, you know, we, we wanted fame more than getting into it for the music. And so we learned. And, and actually, I stayed with those guys for, for years and uh, through college and all that. And, then went on to be a, a, a side man. Right. Now, what, speaking of what you just said, what, yeah. what, what, one piece of advice would you give to the campers before they left after you had time to spend with them? Just to stay with it, and I think it's great for them to get the experience of being on a big stage like this, but but to play anywhere, play at you know someone's wedding of five people or whatever, just stick with it. And, and, and I know that they all love the high that they get because it's a different kind of high. From right. It's a break from work and release and just, you know... Oh, I'd say that. And they're all digging. These guys are great. I know. You should hear them play uh, Whip and Post. What's which, the name of your man? Uh, who cares? Who, ca who cares? I like that. <laughs>